Except my herbal life, and we're gonna get rolling here. Can't see your guys' comments there, so I'm actually gonna pull up the screen here. So I can see if there's any comments here. All right, let's get rolling. So this is Steve Says, episode number 31. And today we're going to be talking about basically asking you if you have goals or, or dreams or great vision, but have no idea how to achieve it. And today I'm going to give you the blueprint to carve the path to your destiny, no matter how far out of reach you think it is. We're going to go over that. Some people, I like to go over this every week, kind of an introduction to, to the Steve Says show. Some people hate, but most people can relate. This is all about personal development, peak freak style. Life is a war, the invasion is coming, and this show is going to make sure you're ready every single week. They're right now, Tuesdays at 2.15 p.m. It's all about our my experiences, joining us for the peak freak perspective on personal development, health, nutrition, life, self-development, mindset, basically teaching you how to adapt and overcome, become a better version of yourself every day, get your shit together, stop being a little bitch, trust the process, and of course, Having no excuses. If you have any comments, you can put them in the section below. I'm actually holding this here so I could take a look at it, a little better look at your questions. Usually I can't see them while we're going on, so I can, we can interact back and forth. So yeah, today we're going to be you know, going to take you step by step to achieving any task you have, any goal, dream, or vision you have, no matter how small or big it is. My entire life, people have been telling me, you can't do this or you can't do that. Well, today we're going to say, fuck that, and I'm going to tell you, you can do this, you can do that. There is always a way, there's always a path to adapt and overcome. No matter how difficult the task it seems, and no matter what asshole tries to get in your way, there and there will be a lot of those assholes along the way. You will you will know that you're on the right path when when with these five steps that we're gonna go over today, when people try start to try to go out of their way to take you down. Keep you know, keep focusing on me, fucker, while I'm focusing on my goals and dreams and focusing on my fucking vision. You know, they they they're not even haters. They're your freaking admirers. That's what those people are. They admire you. They're looking up to you. They might seem like haters, but they're really not. I came to the conclusion they're not. They're admiring you. They wish they could be you. They wish they could have what you have and the focus that you have and the determination you have and the mindset you have and the positivity you have. Just checking you guys out here, seeing who's on with us. So today we're going to cover the five-step blueprint to achieve anything, whether it's to get that new job, lose that extra fat around your waist, make the team in sports, or you build that dream house, or maybe you want to start a, a goat farm business, or whatever your dreams are, whatever your goals are. These five steps will apply to any task, goal, desired outcome, dream, or vision that you have. These are the direct steps to take to dominate your path to total success and fucking victory. That's what we're going to be going over. So, you know, we like to play our word game. Let's see who's joining us. Our usuals are not on here that usually win these contests each week. So there's five, there's a five step process. So that means there's five different words that we need to go over. The first, the first one is basically a mental rehearsal. You got, you got to come up with these words. You got to try to figure out these words out that I'm talking about. It's a mental rehearsal. You create images in your mind of having to do whatever it is you want to do. You then, you then repeat these images over and over again in your head daily for like five minutes a day is what, what I like to do. Who can tell me what my first word is? Let's go. Who can tell me my first word? The first step, the first step of the five steps to make sure you overcome any obstacles and achieve an, any task or goal or dream or vision you have. Imagine no. I'm going to give you a hint on all five of these. They all end in I-O-N at the end. I-O-N is at the end of all of these. Dream, imagine, oh, those could be in there. Determination, no, that's an I-O-N, but that's not the I-O-N we're talking about. A mental rehearsal, think about it. A vision in your head. To recall, like, you're going to be recalling mental images or pictures in your head. You're going to make them perceptible in your mind or your imagination. Determination is not it, but that's another good I-O-N. But this is the first step, the first stage. Think about it. This is the first level to get to where you need to be. The first step you need to take. Who's got it? Destination. No, that that'd be destination can't be the first step. This is the first step before you can even take any action or do anything. This is the first step you need to take. Who's got it? Who's got it? This is like, uh, you could also think of it as awareness or imagery or ingenuity, resourcefulness, a thought, idea, a fucking vision, 
realization, a perception, a creation. What is this? What is it? What are we looking for? Organization? No, but hold that thought. Diane's got organization. Hold that thought. Maybe if one of our other five, that's a little fucking hint for you, huh? My, my thought of what this word is, my, my definition of this word is a picture in your mind, a creative imagination of a specific outcome, desire, or vision. So who can tell me the freaking word? Realization? No, this is before any of that. This is like the first step. You got about three seconds. There's five, five words you got to come up with today. Five steps. Whoever can get the most amount of steps is going to win a t-shirt. Whoever can, whoever can figure out the most of these five, you got three seconds to pick one out. I'm looking at you guys down here on the screen to see who's answering that. And you got about two seconds. Come on. This is an easy one, guys. An easy one. I gave it to you. A mental rehearsal, creating images in your mind of doing or having something that you want and then repeating these steps over and over and repeating these images over and over in your head. I do it every day for a few minutes a day to start my day. You got three seconds. How much more, how much more of a hint can I give you? It ends in ION. All right, someone, no one's going to get points for this one. Visualization. It all starts with freaking visualization. Like I said, it's a mental rehearsal. It's resourcefulness, a thought, an idea, a vision. To me, it's a picture in your mind, creative imagination of a specific outcome, desire, or vision. So each of these five steps, we're going to look at it from the rawest form in battle, in war. Then we're going to look at each of these five steps with a couple of different scenarios like trying to get that dream job of yours or, or trying to get that dream body of yours or trying to get that dream house of yours, whatever those goals might be, just to give you different examples of how to apply these five steps. So the first one, which is visualization. You can't say visualization after I said it. I just told you fucking visualization. How are you going to tell me? Got to go to work. You better watch this. This is your priority. This is going to help you do better at work, Diane. You better watch this at work. Put an earpiece in or some shit. Put a Blu-ray player in your ear, whatever the hell that shit's called. Anyway, so in war, visualizing the victory, the defeat of the enemy, the, the freedom and the safety of the people. You're closing your eyes. You're picturing this in your head before the battle even begins. You're picturing the revo- rejoicing of the people after defeating the fucking evil. You're going you're gonna to visualize the outcome. Literally, close your eyes and picture yourself. Now we're talking about working at the new job. You're going to picture yourself working at that new job. Or you're going to picture those flat abs of the body of your dreams, that lean, toned body, fitting into those old jeans you haven't fit in since, since fucking college. Picture yourself, you know... In that, in a vision of playing with your kids or sitting on the porch in the backyard of that new home of yours that you want to build or in the backyard playing with the kids in that new house or picture yourself with that booming business that you want to build with all those special goats on your farm. That's what we're talking about. Whatever you desire or want or need or fucking deserve, you need to first have the vision of it in your freaking head. The outcome you need to see. You need to see the end goal. What is your dream? What is your goal? What is your vision? Or else how are you going to know where to start? How are you going to set the path to get there if you don't even know the fucking vision of what you want to, where you want to go? You need to visualize it. Visualization. Like most things, your goals and dreams and start with an idea, a thought, and a vision. So you need to have regular and fucking deep visualization. You can even call it a form of meditating if you want. Yes, I sort of meditate. Can't you tell? That's why I'm so fucking calm and reserved and quiet and fucking laid back because I, I, I practice these forms of meditation. So picturing in your head, being aware and creating the vision in your mind is the first step to becoming resourceful and moving to the next step, which is step number two, which is still to me in the, in the, on the mental side of things. So, so who could tell me what step number two is? Step number two is, a, is to form as, as or into a whole, like consisting of different coordinated parts, especially to, for united action, basically, to, to, base, to consisting of, who got, who got it? Who could see if someone can have it before I even give you more hints? Step two, we had visualization, which leads to this next one. Basically, it's to put yourself in a state of mental competence to perform a task. It's grouping, not pacification. Now we're getting fancy. Shit, that's a little bit too fancy even for me. Basically, management or system, alignment, configuration, structure, coordination. There's some other IONs right there. Configuration, coordination, but that's not the words we're looking for. What do we got here? What do we got? This is stage two. We did the visualization. The next step to to reach your goals or your dreams of your vision. Motivation? No. Organization. Benner, organization. Who did? Someone said organization up earlier. And I said, hold that thought, Diane. And she, she had to go to work. So organization is stage number two. To me, organization is still mental. So it starts mental. Then stage three 
is going to be kind of 50-50 mental going into the physical. And then stage four and five are completely physical because it's all got to start in your head. So stage two is organization. It is still mental. Like I said, that's the management. That's the systemization, the alignment of those th- that visualization you had, structuring that visualization, coordinating it. It's basically, to me, is strategic planning for a specific task or a goal or effect or outcome. Step two is still mental. It's still in your head. You can't spend too much time on this step or you're going to end up with what we were talking about a couple of weeks ago, which is another ION word, which was procrastination. So organization is managing things in your head and devising a plan and a system, aligning those thoughts in your vis- with your visualization and structurally structuring the steps needed to put into place to move forward towards your goals. One chunk at a time. That's what organization is. One piece at a time in order of priority, you know. You're not going to lose all that weight in one, one fucking day. You, so you need to be organized. You need to have a plan devised of how you're going to get there. Let's look at organization in war, the rawest form. We're going to look at all these in war, like I said, in the four different scenarios to give you an idea. In war, in getting that dream job, getting that dream body, and then building that dream home. All different goals or visions you might visualize yourself having at some time. So in war, it's, it's basically, this is the, the mounting up of the right warriors for the right job. De- devising the theoretical plan of how, to, how the attack will take place to overcome the enemy with minimal loss, minimal casualties, while still holding down the fort and defending your current position. Planning who will need to go where at what times and deciding who will move where at what times, when to advance on the enemy, that is an organization. So this can mean putting those visions from the visualization onto paper possibly, but it's still technically in your head even though you're putting it on paper to get the job, that, you know, that, that ultimate dream job you're talking about creating the ultimate authentic resume that you're looking for. That's going to just wow the, the, per, the, the dream job you're looking for. They're going to see that resume and need to have you in there for an interview. But guess what? We're going to take action on that. Scheduling out, out the times that you're going to go in for interviews and all that. When you're talking about a dream body, organization is scheduling your work day or the kid's soccer game around the times that you're going to need to get to your, your peak physique boot camp class or the time you're going to need to prepare your food or whatever. Building that dream home. The organization is maybe budgeting. Or, you know, what's it going to cost? Where will it be? What are your needs and wants going to be in that, in that brand new dream home of yours? What's the budget? Setting appointments with architects and contractors and agents and financial advisors and, and real estate, all that bullshit that you need to do. That's the organization phase. So we had visualization. Then you need to have the organization. So you're organizing and prioritizing the necessary steps in order, you know, to move forward in the freaking direction that you need to be in. Step three is in between. This is the one that we had. We said or, we said visualization was mental. Organization was mental. Preparation is number three. I just gave it to you because I'm so fucking fired up. I just told you number three because I already said it earlier. So there it is. Preparation is number three. That's bridging the gap between the mental and physical. Who can guess stage three? Can anyone there guess stage three? First one to guess stage three gets point for it. First one to pop up for stage three. No one could got stage three. It's bridging the gap between the mental and the physical. It's basically to put in proper readiness, basically. Put things or oneself in readiness and get ready to manufacture and compose yourself. The arrangement and preparedness and training and formation, alertness and anticipation and foresight is what we're talking about. Preparation. Preparation. This is where the mental mental starts to manifest into the fucking physical, where you literally start putting those pieces into place to move towards your desired, desired outcome. You visualize it, you organize it in your head, and maybe put it on paper, and now you're physically preparing for it. So now you are combining the mental with the physical and starting some actual movement. In war, this means practicing and training for what is to come and preparing for every contingency plan from A to fucking Z. Being ready and able, no matter what the situation arises, you're going to be ready for anything. You're going to prepare for the worst, but expect the best. Then putting the actual forces into the right positions on the battlefield so they're ready to advance when the time is right. So when we're talking about getting that dream job, when it comes to the preparation phase, you know, we're talking about dropping off that new suit at the dry cleaners, practicing your interviewing skills, doing some role playing with some friends and family and that goat on that goat farm of yours and, and actually preparing for what's to come in the action steps and the actual physical stages of stage four and five for that dream body. You just need to get fucking moving is what you need to do. You start going for some walks going to buy some new workout gear, going to buy, you know, going to go over to Peak Physique to sign up for your training classes, for your boot camp and your boxing classes, to start classes the next day because you're not going to bullshit. You're preparing to take action for stages four and five, which are the physical forms. Get rid of all the shit food in your house. Go to the grocery store, you know, buy, buy the foods that you learned 
that you need for your goals at your peak physique orientation. Pre-make the food and prep it if you have to. Have it ready for the, for the fucking week and have that shit ready to go. To build your dream home, buy your dream home, whatever. In the preparation stage, you know, you're going to be running around meeting with all the people, the different roles that you need to make this happen. Putting the money and assets into place so the, so the process can continue moving forward. If you are always prepared, you never have to get prepared. If you are always on your A game, then there's no such thing as a fucking B game. You understand that? That's all it takes. Always be on your A game and there is no such thing as a B game. So that takes us to step four. Step one was visualization. That was mental. Step two was organization, still mental. Step three was preparation. That was bridging the gap from the, from the mental, beginning the physical. So step four is going to be complete physical. Who can tell me what step four is going to be? I'll give you two seconds to think about it while I take a quick sip of my Herbalife. Step four, stage four. Stage four to achieving all your goals and dreams. Living out your vision, following your path, creating, carving your fucking path to your passion and your vision. Determination, no. Determination is not it. This is where the action starts taking place, is stage four. We had visualization. We had organization. We had preparation. Now we need stage four, where we actually take those three and move into the next next step. Who's got it? Who's got it? Who can tell me? I'll give you a couple little hints. I'll start doing it. It's, this is like to fulfill or to perform or to carry out because we visualize, we organize, we prepared. So now we need to fulfill it and start performing it and start carrying out. We need to put into effect according to, you know, a definite plan or procedure. Perspiration. No, it's not sweat. No, it's not execution, but maybe hold that thought. Good one. Maybe hold that thought. Hint, hint, hint. That is not stage four, though. It's right before that. Because to me, execution means something different than most people. So this is the application. Which we're still, that's not the word, even though it's an ION word. This is the utilization, the fulfillment, exertion. This is what it is. Who can give me my word? It's not commitment. It is not commitment. It is stage four. To fulfill, to perform, to carry out, to put into effect. Come on, what do we got here? This is the fulfillment. Stage four. We're taking freaking action. We visualized. We organized. We, who's got it? Someone got it? No one has it. No. We visualized. We organized. We prepared. And now we need to, number four, no one's got it. Apply. No, that was one of the words I said that is kind of means this, but we're looking for my word, a fancy word. You know, we got to come up with a fancy word. You got three seconds. Apply would, would fall underneath this application, exertion, fulfillment, utilization, to put into effect, carry out, perform, fulfill. Come on, someone give it to me. You got three seconds. You got two seconds. I got to see it popping on my, on my screen here. If I don't see it popping on my screen, I'm watching you guys here. I'm watching your comments right here. So you got about two seconds to come up with it. And it looks like no one is going to get it. It is implementation. You need to implement. Implementation is where you begin to actually take fucking action. And I'm not just talking about any kind of regular action, but massive fucking action. Implementation is the conqueror of laziness, of failure, of defeat, of anxiety. Action cures all. Implementation is action. That is what it is. Putting act, you know, putting your putting those thoughts you had in the visualization, putting the the structure that you created in all those different and then prepared and putting it into action. That is implementation. This is where you are moving forward with the preparation that you started moving forward with in the third stage. At war, this is where you advance. You visualize the victory in your head. You organize the troops and prepare them all for the situations by training. And you place each platoon where they need to be. And now you're actually carrying that shit out. That's what implementation is. So to get that dream job, this means implementing everything you visualize, organize, and prepared. Get that Ask King resume you put together. Put on that fu- fucking sharp tailored suit you had. Follow it up in person at the offices that you sent to the resume. Just pop up there every fucking day. Following up with the visits, with an email, and a phone call. Follow up your visit. Like, that's what we're talking about implementing. That's what you visualize, and now you're going to implement it. Show them what a badass you are. So, talking about the dream body of yours. You're taking that prepared food for the day. Heading out to that boot camp class that you are mentally visualizing yourself doing. You're arriving early. You're staying focused on your goals the entire fucking session. Having your prepared post-workout meal right after. Staying hydrated. Getting rest and recovery. Staying positive and motivated. Implementing everything you fucking visualized, organized, and prepared. And now you're on the implementation stage, which is stage four. Building that home or building that dream home of yours, you're actually building the foundation. You're putting up the frame and the plumbing, the electrical, and paying who needs to get paid. Implementing all that visualization, organization, preparation, 
building that fucking house rapidly one fucking chunk at a time because that shit was organized and prepared for and visualized. So you see, it's the same steps no matter what you're talking about. Getting a job, starting a business, getting that dream body, whatever, whatever you're looking to do. So this leads us to step five. Who can tell me what step five is? It's been said like three or four times already. You might think it's the same as implementation, but to me, step five is a step beyond implementation and it is a 100% physical step. It's already been said, but someone's got to say it now since I asked for it. It's already been said like two or three times. You guys said it for stage four. It's very similar to implementation, but to me, it's the next level of implementation. Who can tell me what it is? Stage five to achieve all your goals and dreams and carve the path onto your vision. You got three seconds to tell me what it is. You already said it. Like three people just said it. Who can tell me what it is? Stage five. Come on. This one word has two significant meanings. This is one of my favorite words in the English language in both senses of the word. This is basically an infliction. This is my favorite definition of it. The infliction of capital punishment or any legal punishment, basically. The process of performing a judgment or sentence of a court. It's effectively or usually a destructive action or the result attained by it. This is carrying out, accomplishing. This is basically to produce in accordance with a plan or a design and execution. Obviously, you guys said it. I gave you a ton of hints. Execution is my favorite, one of my favorite words. And this is stage five to carve in your path to your vision, your goals, your destiny in whatever the fuck we're talking about, whatever task you're talking about. This is getting, this means accomplishment, achievement, completion, enforcement. This is what it means. So execution is the next stage beyond implementation. Implementation is actually carrying out all those different things you prepared for, but execution is different. Execution serves two purposes. One is executing what you just implemented by taking it to a new level of intensity and precision and attention to detail. That's what, you know, you're executing those tasks or whatever. But my other favorite form or favorite definition of the word execution, the second definition, which also applies here in the fifth stage, you know, the, the second definition or purpose, if you want to call it, is literally execution. Like mortal fucking combat, like finish him, execution. This is where you go all out. You destroy any evildoers in your fucking way, all out attack, clearing the rest of the path to your victory, to your success, to your freaking goals. This is the fucking knockout blow. That's what this is. So this is where the real fun begins and where it ends and then where it fucking begins again. In war, we've implemented the, the plan. Now it's time to execute the plan. I mean, we've, yeah, we've implemented. Now it's time to execute the details to finalize the victory, which also happens to be to execute the enemy in both senses of the word. This is with pure force and fucking violence of action. This is where you, for that, for that dream job, this is where you show up early to that job interview for that new job in, in walking in in high status mode. Like you are the fucking shit. Like you are coming there to fucking take charge. You're coming there to take over. Looking like the fucking rock star that you are. You bring energy and enthusiasm and fucking personality and value to that company. As soon as you walk through that fucking door, then they, they would be stupid not to hire you. They need to hire you at this job. That's what, that's the mentality that you're visualizing as you walk in that door and you prepare for as you walk in that fucking door. You get that job from day one and you're going to kill it. You're going to, you're motivated and passionate and bringing the fucking fire to everything you do. Every task, no matter how big or small, you fucking execute it there at this job and ab above and beyond the call of duty, over delivering from the second you started this new job. You're destroying the expectations, destroying their numbers destroying all their previous records that previous people had at this position and destroying their fucking goals that they set for you. You're a fucking rock star and you're going to be moving up in the company 10 times faster than anyone else. Even if they have, even if someone's been there 10 times longer than you, you're going to fucking surpass them because you're executing. You are fucking executing your job and you're executing the fucking competition is what you're doing. That's both forms and both senses of the word. When you're talking about that dream body, you're going to fucking execute. You're going to eat that small meal prepared 45 minutes before your boot camp training session. You're going to try your hardest making use of every fucking second of that workout, attacking each exercise like your life depends on it. Because guess what? It does fucking depend on it. And when you want to quit and your body won't move anymore, you're going to remember why you're doing this. You're going to picture that visualization that's in your head and you're going to get a fucking second win and a third win and a fourth win and a fucking fifth win. And you're going to, you're going to be executing exactly what you visualize, what you organize, what you prepared and what you implemented. And more importantly, you're going to be executing the fucking haters, the naysayers, the fucking backstabbers who told you you couldn't do it, who, who used to laugh at you because you were the, you were the fat person in the gym trying to work out or whatever. That's what you're going to do. Then, and who told you you can't do it and made you try to make you feel like shit and bam, they're fucking gone. Executed sniper. Boom. Done. Gone. So to recap. We visualize, visualization in, in 
your, the image of your success, the victory, and whatever you want or need in your dreams and goals. Then we went to the organization stage in, is this basically the strategy, the planning phase, where you map out what it's going to take to get there. Then the preparation is when you start moving on that organization, physically start putting things into place and getting ready. Implementation is putting that thought and movement of preparation into actual measurable and significant fucking action. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about procrastination. And I always say that if you think you're in maintenance, maintaining is stagnation and that is death. That is going backwards. So if procrastination is death, then let's think of the five stages here. Visual, think of visual, if visual, visualization is like sleeping, then organization is like daydreaming, an awakened state of daydreaming. Preparation is like warming up. Implementation is like running. And then execution is like an all out, no holds barred, clearing the fucking final obstacles in your path, obsessive, relentless fucking attack to the finish line, to completion of your goals, your dream, your passion, and your vision. That is the five steps, the five stages that you need to take. Simple stuff right there to attack and overcome any obstacle in your way towards your goal or your task, whatever your dream is, whatever your vision is. That's the five steps that it's going to take. That's it for now. If you have any questions, put them in there. And I'll talk to you guys later.